Hello everyone, today we will be exploring the Photoshop environment. To begin, let us ask, what is Adobe Photoshop? Adobe Photoshop is a tool developed for creating, editing, and enhancing an image. It is mostly used by graphic artists, visual communicators, and print designers. Its features allows user to manipulate different inline with the given requirements. Some of its basic features are zooming, resizing, and saving an image files in different formats. Here is the interface of Adobe Photoshop. It can be divided into nine main parts. The first part is the application bar. It contains the workspace switcher, menus for Windows only, application controls, view controls, and button for you to access the CS Live. The second part is the menu bar. It contains the main functions of Photoshop such as file, edit, and image. This one is the options bar. It displays the option for currently selected tool or object. While this one is the color palette. It allows you to choose from colors. This one is Adjustment Palette. It helps you modify your work with regards to applying different adjustments such as vibrance. While this one is Layers Palette. It helps you modify your work with regards to different layers of an image. This one is the Canvas. It can also be called Workspace. It contains the current file you are working on. This one at the bottom of your screen is the status. It shows the zoom value and the file size of the current file. And this one is the Tools panel. It contains the different tools used for creating and editing images. Now that you know the 9 main parts of Adobe Photoshop, let's try to do an activity. I want you to open your Adobe Photoshop and click on File. Click New or simply press Ctrl N. Adjust the preset. The width should be 500 pixels. Same goes for the height. 500 pixels. The resolution should be 300. While the color mode is RGB color. Click OK. We now have our canvas in the middle of the screen. Now let's try to add the file inside the canvas. Let us try to open. Click File. Open. And locate your image. You can drag your file so that it will overlap another file. Let us try to move the image into our canvas. As you can see, 
it creates a copy on the said file. Let us try to zoom the image. Click zoom or press Z. You can locate the zoom in or zoom out at the options bar. Now let us try to save our file. Click File, Save As, if you want to save the file so that you can edit it later, you can click Photoshop Format, or if you want to make it usable, you can click JPEG. Let's try to save. Press OK. And there you have it. See you again.